Thank you, Mike. This morning, the search for a man last seen more than a week ago is now growing more desperate. The Bear County Sheriff's Office needs help finding him. 65-year-old Manuel Mendoza was last seen on February 13th near Loop 1604 on Pleasanton Road. Deputies say he has a medical condition and does not have his medication. If you've seen him or you know where he could be, you're asked to call BCSO's Missing Persons Unit at 210-335-6000. During the federal hate crimes trial, the three men convicted of murdering Ahmad Arbery will return to deliberations later this morning. As CNN's Cole Higgins reports, they will have to decide whether the men committed the crime because of Arbery's race. After four days of testimony from 21 witnesses, the federal hate crime trial against the three men convicted of murdering Ahmad Arbery is now in the hands of a jury. This has been very draining and I'm, I'm thankful that it's almost over. Travis McMichael, his father Gregory McMichael, and their neighbor William Roddy Bryan have pleaded not guilty to a charge each of interference with rights and attempted kidnapping. The McMichaels also each pleaded not guilty to a weapons charge. Guilty. All three are already serving life sentences, with Brian eligible for parole after 30 years. They face additional fines and penalties if convicted here. In closing arguments, prosecutors zeroed in on testimony showing all three used racial slurs. Defense attorneys say the men suspected Arbery of trespassing multiple times at an under construction home and rejected arguments their clients acted because of race. Ahmaud Arbery's mother breaking down in court as one of those attorneys detailed what Travis McMichael said to investigators about the moments leading up to her son's death. He described Ahmaud, um as turning toward Travis and attacking Travis, which we all know now that wasn't true. But she remains hopeful for the outcome. I think that the DOJ, they presented the case very, very well. We have a very good chance of getting a, a, a guilty verdict on all, on, on all counts. I'm Cole Higgins reporting. New this morning. San Antonio police say a man was stabbed several times just north of downtown overnight. Happened just before 1 a.m. the 800 block of San Pedro near Fredericksburg. SAPD said the man was near a re the reggae bar when a man in a blue shirt stabbed him. Police said the victim ran to a nearby gas station to help. He was taken to the hospital in serious condition. Police are still looking for the suspect. President Biden has signed an executive order restricting trade in two regions of Ukraine controlled by separatists. This comes after Russian President Vladimir Putin announced plans to recognize the two regions as independent states. Biden's order prohibits new investments, trade and financing to those areas. Meanwhile, a meeting between Ukraine's foreign minister and the secretary of state, Antony Blinken, is planned for later today. It comes ahead of an address set for tomorrow at the United Nations General Assembly in New York. Canadian lawmakers have voted to extend the emergency powers that police can invoke to quell any potential restart of blockades by those opposed to COVID-19 restrictions. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau said earlier that the powers were still needed despite police ending the occupation of the nation's capital by truckers over the weekend. The Emergencies Act allows authorities to declare certain areas as no-go zones. It also allows police to freeze truckers, personnel and corporate bank accounts and compel tow truck companies to haul away vehicles. In New York, police have arrested a man for wielding a hatchet on the subway. Police say the victim claims the suspect charged at him and started to swing the axe. The victim was not hit. Authorities say the suspect also had a screwdriver and a punch dagger. SAPD says the suspect is being charged with attempted assault and criminal possession of a weapon over the weekend. At least six stabbings or slashings were reported on New York's subway system. 436, about 65 degrees.